Even though there isn't a statewide election on the horizon, the push to get more immigrants into voting booths continues. New Channel 5's Eric Hilt is live at the historic Metro Courthouse as one group works to register more, more people. Yeah, Carrie, as Nashville continues to grow, so does the city's immigrant and refugee populations. And with the metro elections less than three months away, a group is kicking off efforts to help those populations get to the polls. Mariachi music fittingly filled Mariachi Plaza tonight. As hundreds of people came together, kicking off a voter push ahead of the metro elections. The event was put on by a group within the Tennessee Immigrant and Refugee Rights Coalition called Turk Votes, working to get immigrants and refugees to the polls. We're expecting about 500 folks to join us tonight. Turk Votes co-director Stephanie Tetro said that crowd reflects the mid-state's changing demographics. Nashville and Tennessee have one of the country's fastest growing immigrant population. Um, and so that means that not only do immigrants and refugees have real power in the election, but also we have a real stake uh, in the future of this city. A city that Tetro says saw a successful 2018. Last year, Nashville's first Hispanic judge was sworn in. An immigrant midterm turnout hit record highs. Here in Nashville, immigrants voted at higher rates last year than they did in the presidential election. Last year, I saw a lot of members in my own community come out to turn out and vote. So at tonight's event, volunteers hoped to help continue that momentum. As we're launching our campaign, we're registering people to vote. We're signing up uh, people to join our Canvas team. We're hoping to knock on about 20,000 doors this election cycle. And we think that Nashville can really be a model in the South for what it means to be a welcoming community. The metro elections are on August 1st, but you need to be registered by July 2nd. Reporting live in Nashville, Eric Hilton, News Channel 5.